a day after the moment she had hoped would never come, Paula Radcliffe can still raise a smile. She was in Brussels supporting a European Union sports campaign, a reminder of Radcliffe's international reputation and what she stood to lose had doping allegations gone unchallenged. Before I made the decision to release the statement here, um, you do feel very, very attacked and I know the truth and I want to believe that if I just stand up and tell the truth, everyone will believe that. But there is always that fear, will people believe what I'm saying? And at some point I had to just overcome that and say, well, for, just forget it. This has gone too far, this is too much, too much blackmail, there's too much lying going, going on out there, there are too many untruths being told. I'm just going to stand up and tell the truth. And whether people believe it or not, that's not my problem, because I know the truth. Radcliffe spoke out after being implicated during a parliamentary committee hearing by MP Jesse Norman, and she'd like the chance to put the record straight. Would you go in and talk to them? Yes, but I think it's possibly gone beyond that now. Um, and I think that right now, the people that need to be answering and stop, this needs to stop now being a trial by media. This database that is circulating out there that is stolen and that shouldn't be being commented on without the full context around that needs to be handed back. This needs to be a truce. People need to sit down and openly look at all of this data with all the relevant context and stop threatening people. Do you think Jesse Norman owes you an apology? I mean, I don't know, was he fed the question to ask that? Did he fully understand the question that he was asking? I don't want to make a, an attack on him. We're in the situation that we're in for a lot of reasons, and a lot of people have acted um, not honestly um, and probably need to ask themselves some questions on how they have acted. Uh, and like I say, I don't think we need to be going around throwing any more mud at any other people. This just needs to be sorted out in the correct way. The IWF has a new president in Seb Co. Uh, you know him very well. Is there a role for you, do you think, in helping him? He said he wants to reform anti-doping. Absolutely. I mean, it's something that I've always spoke about, that I've had these strong anti-doping views throughout my career. Um, and going forward, I now have more time to, to dedicate to, to, to supporting that, to working with um, the different anti-doping bodies, making it stronger, to working with the education, because I think that's a hugely important factor too, the moral education of young athletes, so that they know that if they're a stronger athlete, they don't have to take this choice to take a shortcut. You're actually a stronger athlete if you are where you are because of the hard work that you've put in. Restoring public faith in her sport, as well as herself, may be Radcliffe's biggest challenge yet. Paul Kelso, Sky News, Brussels.